welcome to another episode of Wagstaff Explains. Today's topic, reflections. Let's take a look at our first question. Triangle ABC is reflected over the x-axis. Draw the reflected triangle and record the vertices and the rule in the table below. So now what I know about reflections is that every point is the mirror image of itself. So we'll start with A. A is located at negative 2, 4. And we're reflecting over the x-axis. And since A is 4 units away from the x-axis, on the other side of the x-axis, it's also going to be 4 units away. So again, it's 4 units away here. The mirror image will also be 4 units away. So the new location of A prime is going to be negative 2, negative 4. B, same thing. So its location on the y-axis is it's 2 units away from the x-axis. So on the other side, it's also going to be 2 units away from the x-axis. So B prime is at 6, negative 2. And C is 3 units away from the x-axis. So on the other side, it's also going to be 3 units from the x-axis. So C prime is at 3, 3. And so now let me finish out my triangle. Okay, done. And so now I can just check and reflect my original image to make sure that my new image is in the correct location. So flipping up and down since it's reflecting over the x-axis. And yes, it is in the correct location. So now for the rule. So if we look at our x location, it's actually the same. So 6, 6, so it's just x. But when I look at the y, here I have a positive 4, and on the new image, it's negative 4. Positive 2, negative 2. So actually, it's going to be the opposite of the y location. Let's take a look at our next question. Triangle ABC is reflected over the y-axis and translated three units to the left and two units up. So we have two transformations occurring in this question. Draw the transformed triangle and record the vertices and the rule in the table below. Okay, so again, what we know about reflections is that it is the mirror image. So let's start with C. So C is three units away from the y-axis. So on the other side, it's also going to be three units away. But now we need to translate that point. So now we need to take that and go three units to the left. So one, two, three. And then we're going to go two units up, one, two. And so now that puts my location C at negative six, negative one. And so now I need to do the same thing with my other point. So let's just start with A. So A is two units away from Y axis. So it's going to be two units away on the other side. And now I need to translate three units to the left, one, two, three, and then two units up, one, two. So A prime is going to be at negative one, six. And 
and this point here is C prime. And B is six units away from the Y axis. And on the other side, it's also going to be six units away. And so now we will translate from this location. So three to the left, one, two, three, and then two units up, one, two. And so B prime is at negative nine, four. I'm going to connect my points so that I can see my triangle. Okay. All right, so now I can verify that my triangle is in the correct location. So first I want to flip my triangle. And then I need to, let's see. So my triangle, see that's the actual reflection across the Y axis. And now I can do the translation. So it was three units to the left, one, two, three, and then two units of one, two. So I can see that I have trans, uh, reflected and translated my triangle to the correct location. So now for the rule. So when I originally reflected C across the Y axis, I can see that my Y actually became my, my X, I'm sorry, my X became the opposite. So it's the opposite of X. And then from there, I translated that point three units to the left. So that's minus three. And then on the Y, notice it stayed the same. When it reflected over the Y, it stayed the same. It was in the same location. And then I moved it two units up, so plus two along the y-axis. And so now I have my rule. So the opposite of x minus three and y plus two. So now let's just check that and make sure. So we'll do c. So if we do the opposite of three, which would be negative three, and then subtract three, we would end up with negative six. And then if we take our y and we add two, negative three plus two would give me a negative one. So algebraically, it does check out. I'm going to leave you with the reflection rules. Thank you for watching another episode of Wagstaff Explains. Now you know how to reflect and translate figures.